Hello and welcome to my first edition of Helping Hands Crafting Corner. Today I have two little art projects for you to do with paint. The first one just requires a container like this or just a box, but I chose a clear one so you can see. Of course, paint, any children's washable paint will do. A brush, a little bit of paper, and some marbles or other balls, um, any size that you don't mind getting messy with paint. So let's change the angle here so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Okay, you could tape this in here. I'm not going to. So you're just going to put a few globs of paint anywhere on the paper with your favorite colors. I'm gonna use a towel to kind of wipe this off. Move on to the next color. I have green, purple dots. And you can experiment too with how much you put in each spot. It'll be interesting to see how it all comes out. What other color should we do? I think I'm gonna do pink. Green, purple, and pink. can be a little bit careful of which colors you put together you put too many colors together and you get brown which you know could be the color you want but if you're choosing vibrant colors it's probably not your initial intention so now we're just going to put the marble in there oh mine has a little trough on the sides so it's going to be harder to get it to stay on the paper. So basically you're just going to do this, have the marbles roll over the paper. You see they're getting stuck. Let me find a different box. Okay, this is a flat box, so I should be able to really properly shake it now. This is the fun part. Sorry you can't see what's going on, but you'll see afterwards. Ta -da, ta -da. Shake, shake, shake. This is a fun painting activity for kids who don't want to get their hands dirty. You can do as much or as little as you want. You could also try, I, I did find that more paint is better in those big globs, or you could just try dipping the marble in paint so you don't have the globs, but I don't mind it. I think it actually looks, let's see. I think it actually looks kind of pretty, kind of like flowers something like that. So the, the marbles just roll through the paint and drag the paint along like you know in tracks and just let it dry and if you used a box you didn't care about and marbles you didn't care about or another ball well you can probably wash these pretty easily but you know just throw the box. Easy cleanup for a painting job. For our second art project we're again using paint, but this time we want them to be watercolors. So, of course, you're going to need watercolors. 
one glass of water or two if you really don't like getting a dirty dirty water in your watercolors again of course paper I recommend having some sort of surface underneath I'm using the lid from the attempted box that I attempted to use earlier um, and again you could even use that same box or that same idea to contain the paint because otherwise it could get messy so what I like to do oh and the most important piece a straw because that's going to be our brush really I'm gonna blow through it to to create some abstract art so I like to dip the paintbrush in water and just get the watercolors a little bit wet first let me move the camera for you there you go so just take a little water from your cup and just dip it on there before you really start using it and that way your water stays a little bit cleaner I've already put some water on these the colors that I think I'm going to use so they're already kind of soaked and and more loosened up then what I'm going to do is ooh, see take a little bit of paint make a little splotch again this is the extent of all the artistic creativity you need um, we're, we're gonna want these to be a little bit watery so I'm gonna add a little bit of water from my cup so that's where the water is gonna get a little dirty and of course if you want to add any colors you want to wash your brush before you go and grab some I'm gonna take a little bit of blue and that in with that one okay so now we're going to take our straw and blow gently and you can move this around of course So I actually ended up making a pretty purple there. So you can end up making a bunch of little sunbursts. So maybe I did a purplish reddish one there. Now maybe I want to do a brighter, warmer color. This is where I would have used my other water to clear off that blue because now we have a little bit of green. That's okay. Anything goes with this. I'm going to get some more water to put on there so it'll run a little bit easier. And how about just a tiny bit of red? And you can, you know, work on figuring out what colors different combinations will create. Like we learned with the blue and the red will be purple. If you want to keep going with the same one, you can just add more of the same colors to the middle. And let's see. This really takes quite a lot of um, breath support. And I hope you can see these okay. On the camera let's see I'm gonna do a couple more and I'm gonna add some water so it's more runny 
kind of like how I got some. Let's see if this time we already start these little spindles, if they'll maybe move in one direction. Yeah, that helps to kind of predetermine which way. Otherwise, it's always pretty much going to be different. Even if you try to do it exactly the same way, these are always going to turn out a little bit different. Oh, water is getting dirty. keep it quite red but maybe I'm gonna add orange I did not prepare orange yet to be watery so I'll take a second for that it doesn't take long to kind of loosen up and then I can add some of that and make it a little warmer You could do this all day, as you can see. Could keep you entertained for a long time. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some yellowish green. I should have done it up there. Um, so this one you could see it didn't have that much paint and the water really soaked up pretty fast into the paper so you might it depending on what you're trying to make because you could try to make something like um, a bird with wings and feathers or a dandelion so if you're trying to build on a certain part if it gets dried up you just put a little bit more paint and a little bit more water I like this as an abstract project myself and it dries pretty quickly and there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this first installment of our crafting corner with paints, with uh, watercolors, and blowing through a straw, and then also rolling the marbles through the paint in the box. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you.